Traveling by sea in the 1700s wasn't particularly safe. And one of the biggest challenges was that sailors couldn't work out their position. There are no landmarks at sea. And it was called the longitude problem, a problem that Isaac Newton couldn't solve, but a carpenter from Yorkshire did. On the 22nd of October, 1707, there was a huge naval disaster when the Admiral of the fleet, with the ridiculous name Sir Cloudesley Shovel, made a navigational error and accidentally crashed into the Isles of Scilly, killing 200 sailors. When Queen Anne was told what caused the disaster, the longitude problem, she set up a reward of £20,000 for anyone that could solve the problem. Now, to determine their position at sea, a sailor has to know two things. They have to know their latitude, or their distance from the equator, which is quite easy to calculate because the Earth doesn't spin in that direction. And they have to know their longitude, which is how far east or west they are. But the Earth is constantly rotating in that direction. That was why the problem was so difficult to solve. And if you get it wrong by just a few degrees, you're miles off course. When news of the prize reached Barrow, New Yorkshire, John Harrison, who was a carpenter with an obsession for making clocks, thought he could solve the problem and win the prize. If you could make a clock that was accurate enough to lose only a few seconds a month and work at sea, then you'd done it. Here's why. If your reference point is, say, noon in London, and you set your clock to London time, then as you sail west, the time of noon will change with your position. If you can rely on your clock to keep London time, then you'll be able to work out your longitude as you sail east and west. The only problem was no one had ever made a clock that accurate. Most clocks at that time lost minutes per day, and the most accurate clocks relied on pendulums, which don't work at sea because of the movement of the ship. Isaac Newton said such a clock could never be made, but Harrison had other ideas. Over 30 years, he made the H1, the H2, the H3, and finally the H4, which was a pocket watch. It was a masterpiece. On its first test voyage, it lost five seconds in 81 days. It's one of history's greatest inventions and changed how we travel the globe forever. So did he win the 20,000 pounds? Well, it probably won't surprise you to hear that Parliament tried to weasel out of paying him. So he went to the King, the Queen Anne had died by that point, and appealed to the King, who forced Parliament to give him the money. Politicians, eh?